What's going on YouTube? Today I'm here to show you how to do a washer for this floor. This guy right here on a 2015 Porsche Macan S. I'm guessing somebody put just water in there in the winter time and it cracked it. Anyways, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe so I can continue to make videos to make your life easier. Enough talk, let's get started. First thing you're going to need to do is take your tire off. I don't think I need to show you how to do that. Next thing you're going to do is take this fender skirt off. Some of these bolts that hold it on the side and the bottom are a T20. Pull these first. myself as well there we go all right now we're going to go underneath there's a few underneath here why that one has a big washer i don't know but whatever Anyways, now you're going to take your 10 millimeter, pull these little nuts right here. And being careful not to rip it because it's made out of paper. Just get it out of your way, tuck it over here. You don't have to take it completely off. There's your bottle right here. Just like that. It looks like maybe a 10 millimeter on that one. Yep. Weird angle. You look on the new bottle, it's got grommets that push it into the body of the car. Mounting points. Just be careful. You don't want to rip any wires out. Spin that back. go drop it down now the reason why that happened is because if you look right here where are we at that connects to the filler neck the filler neck you don't replace but while we got this all pulled back let's go ahead and disconnect all this stuff why well, it pisses all over me Oh, you gotta love uh, German connectors. Push tabs don't work hardly ever on these. There you go. All right. Now I'm going to have a nice and clean floor. Alright. Being careful not to let too much weight hang on this wire right here. Pull those pin connectors out. It's going to suck. I'm trying to fix that. Now, remember this thing came with all the pumps. I'm go ahead and pull that pump out. That way we can just get this bottle out of my way. See up there where it hooks to. I 
I'll grab the new bottle. It's the O-ring right there. To make it easier. A little bit of penetrating oil. Gonna want to plug in everything. I'm getting ahead of myself here. I've noticed on these if you push down and then pull back, sometimes you can get them unplugged by pushing that tab in like that. Then this has a new hose on it, so pull that clip out that out. I'm going to save that. If the pump works, I might be able to make something with that. I'll put my mind to it. Alright, remember, came with both motors. So, that bottle was only $100. And it came with everything. That's shocking for a Porsche. Just pull that little tab back. Why they made two different styles is beyond me, but Maybe it has to do with pressure. This is a fun one. Let's see. I think we'll get a pick for that. Hard in the mess. It's Saturday. Last day of the week. We'll rock it out today. And we have little pull out tabs on this. Got to get them both at the same time, so maybe I need two picks. All this stuff on that you can click on last but everything that you can't get to I'm gonna go ahead and plug in before you mount it this wire goes here oh, maybe up there there this way Just like that you can't mess up they only plug in one way same with the hoses that down. That's on. Plug that in. I'll hook that up last. Right now, just push it up in there. That tucks behind there. The wiring harness. This is going to be fun. I think I got it. Yes. Careful you don't crack this new bottle. Let's get some light on the situation. So 
so I got an idea. Let's lower her down. I'm going to try to pull this neck back from the top. This is the first one I've done, so y'all are learning with me. Nope. Everybody's starting to get here. I was the early bird. Came in early to knock this out. This customer paid for it a week ago, and... I don't want to enter in my day. All right. now if you notice the washer bottle, by the filler neck reservoir. It's got little push tabs. there. They look a little better. T27. I'm thinking. Careful, my floor's wet. I'm gonna slip. It's gonna be another hot day. I need to lose a few pounds, anyways. Sweat it out. And now that we got that pulled back, this bottle should slide right in. And then we can slide that neck in once the bottle's mounted. those up a little bit too. Sorry if you're hearing wind noise. I've got my fan on. I'll turn it on low so it's not so loud. Those grommets. Here we go. 
go. That weird angle. Alright. Hose on. Before you put all that back on, just make sure we can click this bottle in, our neck in to the bottle. Always put things back minimal in case you have to tear things back apart. You want to make sure everything is working and functioning before you put the whole car back together. Just get to a point where you can test it. Like when I do a timing belt or something, I always start the vehicle up before I put the whole engine cover and everything back on, or the timing cover. That way, it's, if it happens to be off a tooth or something, I'm not tearing the whole car back apart. Which very rarely I do that. But early in the game, you probably will. I've been doing this long enough to where I don't do that very often, but I still practice our defective part, like a water pump leaking. Can't tell you how many times that's happened. But we're doing a washer bottle. A little bit less complex than a time I built. Boom, I felt it go in, just like that. Alright, well, I'm going to put all this stuff back together. And I don't think I need to show you how to put all this back together. We know it went in because I felt the resistance when I pushed it into that rubber grommet. I'm pretty sure y'all saw how I took it apart. So just reverse procedure, get it all back together. Anyways, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Y'all have a good day. Check, like, subscribe. Peace out, YouTube.